Oh, hey there. How you doing? I'm going to explain something to you, but before I do, I got to get into today's, the, the sponsor of today's video is uh, Harpoon Brewery. And we're looking at Mike's Pastries here. I got the cannoli stout. It's cannoli. It's a cannoli. It's cannoli stout. Good shit. Just kidding. I hate Harpoon. Obviously, nobody sponsors these videos. Why would they? Why do I want them to? Uh, but yeah, this, I hate Harpoon, but this was actually pretty good. And I'm not even a beer connoisseur. So uh, count that for something. Uh, pretty good. What do we got here? 7.3% uh, alcohol. That's up there. That's, that's kind of nice for a beer. Um, I prefer the fucking 40% uh, gin straight out of the bottle. Uh, but anyway, people are asking about the stoop. John, what is the stoop? What are you talking about? What's the stoop? I'm going to give you the scoop on the stoop, okay? So let me just... Uh, all right. All right, here's the stoop. Give me a second, all right? Give me one second. All right, so. The stew. Yes, I'm going to save that can so I remember. And get some more of it. The stew. It's a New England thing. All right? It might exist in other parts of the world. I don't know, but it's definitely a New England thing. All right? So, here's what it is. It's, uh, you know, minus fucking 20 degrees outside. There's snow all over the place. There's ice all over the fucking place. You can't even walk. You're like... You don't want to slip and fall. So what you do is, you want a cigarette. I want to go outside for a cigarette. I would like to have a puff. So, you get your winter coat on. Here we go. You got your boots tied tight. Just kidding. I have a, I have a pair of Spanish carpenter boots that went to shit, and I just use them as slippers. I don't even lace them or zip them up. That's how often I smoke. So you get your winter coat on, oh man, it's, it's pretty cold out here. You know, you're Jimmy and you're doing the... Alright, you get you get out your cigarillo, or whatever the fuck you feel like smoking. Put it in. You light it up. Just kidding, I'm not going to light one up in the house. But, you get the idea. Then you go outside, right? And you're enjoying your cigarette, and you do it, you kind of do it, you try and move around a little bit, stay, stay warm. So the stoop is when you're like, kind of like this, like, and you're just kind of bouncing, you're bouncing off your, uh, off your feet, kind of like this, like. And that, that's it, that's pretty, that's all I'm saying. That, that's the, <laughs> I, I said to my mother, I get this. Yeah, I'm only 31 years old and I already got the stoop. She's like, what are you talking about? Like, well, <laughs> it's like minus 20 degrees out. You're like, oh, first of all, you're lucky if you can get the fucking thing lit. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> if you do, I don't know. Let's say you're talking to somebody and uh, fucking your cigarette goes out. It'll go out. Like, you forget about it. You're talking to the person. You're engaging with somebody. You forget about your cigarette, it goes out, and then you get to try to light it again, and you're like, oh, fuck! Yeah, anyway, just some uh, quick updates on my terminology for stupid shit that doesn't matter. And... I gotta wash all these clothes. We got a lot of clothes here that need to be washed. Uh, winter sucks. I fucking hate winter. I'm done with it. Sorry about that camera. I had to pull a shirt out from it. It's not like that camera quality is good anyway. Um, winter's almost over. We're almost in March. Once we get to March, we're gonna march, uh, into better weather. 
and that'll be great. That's your meteorology report for today. Uh, I have a new job. It's it's a job. It's kind of nice. It's I like it so far. Um, it's just kind of weird because everybody. I'm not allowed to really like talk about. It, but anybody who watches these knows what I'm talking about. But I'm not really allowed to like talk about work. Uh, but I don't know. Everybody just seems like dead inside. It's got like people don't talk or joke around or anything. And there's uh, there's no like hardcore drug addicts around, so it makes it way easier for me to not, you know, fall into anything stupid. Um. So yeah, that's good. I'm just gonna keep one, you know, doing what I'm doing. Obviously, I'm still drinking, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna focus my money on booze and cigarettes and gas to get to work, and that's it. No eBay, no. I'm not. I can't buy anything right now. I got to keep putting money together. So get what I get, ration it. Even though I'm not doing that today because it's. My first day off in a week, and that I, my legs are killing me. Every day is leg day at blank. Um, so I'm going to do that. I got a little bit of weed, which is nice. I'm going to enjoy my little weekend here. You know, I, have, I had last night off. I have tonight off. The commute sucks. The The commute absolutely. Well, it's actually not that bad, but me and my father were driving around. He's like, listen, he doesn't trust me with anything. It was like. Listen, why don't, why don't we go for like a test drive before your first day so that we, he, that's the kind of father he is. He doesn't, he worries. He does even though I'm 31 years old, he, he fucking, he just worries about everything. So we, we go, I, I print out directions because he's like, we could have used his GPS. I don't have a phone. Uh, we ended up using his GPS, but he's not really good with phones. So anyway. We tried using just, you know, what I had written down. Didn't work. Uh, we got lost. We were, <laughs> we were in the pits of blank. And just, like, uh, he was getting so frustrated. Like, uh, you know, I had to be the calm one. He'd be like, we're not lost. No, just go this way. Oh, right. get somebody across the street. Just be careful there. See, he gets, he is not a good driver. He's just so, well, he's a good driver, but he, mentally, he just get he gets so stressed <laughs> about everything when he's driving. So anyway, we finally find our way to the place, and that's cool, and all right. And then all throughout this week, I've been using, I've been taking his phone, because he doesn't use it much. He, when he's at work, he doesn't use his phone at all, so, and the hours works out that he doesn't need it. So, um, since I don't have a phone again yet, uh, I've been using his and day by day we went through the week at, at this point, I'm pretty confident I can just get there and back, but I am horrible with streets. Like I don't know street names. I know landmarks. That's how I operate. I, I don't, I, I couldn't tell you half the streets in my town and I've lived here for like 27 years. I just don't, I don't pay attention to streets. I, I pay attention, I look. I pay attention to what I see and what I remember. Um, yeah, I don't know, bunch of shit. Anyway, that's the stoop. That's the scoop on the stoop. And I just got some ramen. And uh, it's sounding pretty good right now. Uh, listen, I'm not going to lie to you. It sounds pretty good right now. Sounds good. Yeah, I don't know. I've been eating shitty foods. Actually, I've been trying to eat like a little healthier, but I've been eating shitty foods. Good thing is I don't weigh uh, fucking seven hundred pounds. So I don't know if these people are there fucking. I've been watching all these. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm not even gonna get into all that shit. Uh, I will say this. You know, I will say this because he's a fucking awesome guy. He makes really funny stuff, and the the people. Most of the people that I watch, they're not YouTubers, and I'm not a YouTuber. I mean, well, they are, but they aren't. I'm not. This is just my diary, like, that I'm posting, basically, this whole channel. But Mike versus Everyone, 
he is fucking hilarious. He's hilarious. He, well, it depends on who you are. I mean, if you're like a sensitive snowflake or something, don't even venture into that. But if you have never seen his channel before, it's worth watching. Um, it'll probably give you at least a few laughs. And the way that he, I, his format is, his format is a certain way that really just, uh, it, it's perfect. There are a bunch of other guys I'm not going to mention because they they already have, um, you know, plenty of clout, plenty of people backing them. And I, but Mike versus everyone is a really nice guy, really funny guy. And uh, if you haven't checked out his channel, maybe check that out. If you're one of the like five people that watches my videos, at, at least give it a shot. At least check it out because he's fucking cool. Um. That's really pretty much all I got. I'm going to eat some ramen and be a fucking asshole. Probably watch reruns of my favorite TV shows because all the TV shows that come out now are fucking trash. And yeah. Yeah.